The Center for Philosophy of Religion presents Reformed Epistemology. Letty believes in God. How do we tell if her belief is rational? We could ask Letty what evidence or reasons or arguments she has in support of her belief. But is this the right way to find out? Well, if Letty was aware of serious objections against God's existence that she couldn't address sufficiently, her belief would be irrational. But once we set aside objections that could defeat her belief, it's easy to confuse having reasonable belief with having good reasons for belief. Maybe Letty has good reasons for believing in God that she could produce if asked, but Alvin Plantica and others have argued that whether she has reasons or not, there are other ways Letty's belief in God can be rational all the same. A basic belief is one that we don't have on the basis of other beliefs. But some basic beliefs are also properly basic. That is, are beliefs that are rational even in the absence of evidence or arguments. Plantiga argues that his predecessors had such a narrow view about which beliefs were properly basic that they ended up applying their own theory inconsistently. Even worse, they weren't able to show that their own theory was itself rational to believe. Plantiga's reformed epistemology, so named because of how it was influenced by central figures in the reformed theological tradition, is famous for attempting to fix these problems and for extending the notion of a properly basic belief to include beliefs about God. Of course, not just any belief can be properly basic. Could someone claim that his belief in a flying spaghetti monster is rational because it was properly basic? Sure, he could claim it, but that wouldn't make it true. Just as the theist would need to respond adequately to objections to his theism, the believer in the flying spaghetti monster would need to satisfactorily defend his spaghetti monster belief from its critics. For once again, it's not just thinking that a belief is properly basic that makes it rational. It's a belief's being properly basic that makes it rational. To be sure, there can be genuine disagreements about what makes a belief properly basic. Plantica has found inspiration and motivation for including beliefs about God among the properly basic ones by appealing to John Calvin's notion of a sensus divinitatis, a sense of God. This capacity would lead people to have an immediate belief in God, rather than one reached by argument, upon having certain experiences, and would work much like memory and sense perception to other capacities widely regarded as responsible for properly basic beliefs. If so, Letty's belief in God may well be properly basic, and hence rational, even without evidence or argument.